You've got here, you've got the, the Vigas, mm -hmm. and then the Tias, oh, yeah. and then you've got Juniper Slats on top of that. Oh, wow. And then uh, you see Screen up there, we've got a modern roof on top of that. But uh, one of the other rooms we go into, you'll be able to see the entire sequence in there. You'll have either mud or matting on top of that. Excuse me. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Doing preservation work in this room is kind of difficult wow. to bring in light. And, and you know, you know with just a little bit, we're walking around, you're starting to notice a little bit of dust coming out. If you enjoy the work, it would be oh, pretty rough. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see in this area, we're losing water around the cheeks. Mm -hmm. so we're going to have to come in, and, and it's coming right down through this area here. So over here it's okay, and over here it's okay, but you're getting moisture coming down in this area, and uh, so it's washing the mud out. And uh, years ago they would replace all the, the mud with uh, cement, but we don't do that anymore. We only do the capping of the walls with cement, and we do a mud mortar mix now that's got uh, something uh, an adhesive we put in it called Darawell. There's two kinds of Darawell, that, or two types of adhesive most people use, Darawell and Roplex. They're kind of like uh, industrial quantities of Elmer's glue. <laughs> give them 55 gallon drums and they're white. <laughs> and, uh, you mix that, like, I think the ratio is like one one uh, gallon of Darawell to four or five gallons of water. And you do that mixture, and then you, you, you mix your mud and sand together and, uh, using that, that liquid mix. And that makes it last a lot longer. When you do that in here, as long as you don't have this sort of a problem, it'll last a dec many decades. Is that what that white stuff is that you're making? Uh, this is cement here. Oh, okay. This was cemented. Uh, we don't take it out when we see it unless it's causing a problem. Uh, in some areas you'll see out on the outside where the, uh, the stone is eroding away and leaving the cement around. You get this honeycomb effect, and that's because the stone is so much softer than the cement, so that's where the moisture comes out of the wall. Mm -hmm. And so when we do work on areas like that, we take the cement out and then replace the stone. What we want is a mortar that's got a porosity similar to the stone, so that moisture comes out uniformly and, and doesn't and does less damage that way. Did they do anything to the ceilings, or are those all, is that all original? That's all original. Wow, that's so amazing. In our modern roofs, we have to replace periodically. Wow. 